If you're planning a personal brand photo shoot, you need to watch this video. I have five steps to make sure you get the best images possible when you're working with a photographer. Hello, my name is Kay Putnam. I'm the psychology driven brand strategist and I help entrepreneurs change the world with what they know. I am so excited that you are here watching this video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, click that subscribe. Whenever I publish a new video, you'll get a notification. And if you are returning, hello, so excited that you're back. <laughs> Let's get into it. So I used to be a photographer in another life. It was actually my first business. I was an entrepreneur, started my first business at 16 when I was still in high school as a senior portrait photographer. And I actually operated that business all the way through college up until my senior year and grew it to a six figure business in revenue, had tons of fun, learned so much, more than I actually did in my business degree, but don't tell my professors. And I have a lot to share, both from the experience of being on the other side of the camera, and then now as an entrepreneur who's building an online brand, I need images. I need to be on the front side, the this side of the camera. So I've done it several times now where I've worked with a photographer, and I'm gonna share the lessons that I've learned through that process. The first thing that I do, first of five steps, is I always start with an inspiration board. I'm partial to Pinterest, I love me some pinning. So I start there and look for personal brand portraits that other people have done, or maybe even just like editorial or lifestyle images of people, or like things that people maybe posted on Instagram, or whatever. Photos of people that look like it fits my brand. So either their outfit looks like it might match my brand or they're in a setting that I would love to get photos taken of myself or the pose or the expression. Something about it reminds me of my brand. I pin all of those onto a single board. Aside from the people photos, I'm also looking for pictures of places and pictures of like details or things that fit my brand. So maybe it's a squishy <laughs> gelatin brain that I'm gonna hold up in a photo. Or maybe more generally, it's my laptop or my phone. Things that give context to who I am as an entrepreneur. And I pin all of those onto a board so I can see it all together and get a bigger picture, <laughs> pun intended, of what the photo shoot is going to look like. Number two, one and two might be interchangeable, don't shoot me, but step number two is to find the best photographer that you can afford. I like actually looking for wedding photographers, which maybe is kind of weird because people do specialize in brand photography, so you can search for a brand photographer specifically, but I find that wedding photographers are really good at thinking on their feet, they're really good at working with natural light situations, they tend not to over manipulate or over process photos for whatever reason. Uh, so hat tip to fellow brand strategist Phil Palin, my friend, who had that recommendation for me and I've used that in all of the times that I've gotten a uh, photo shoot done of myself. I've actually searched for wedding photographers first to see if I could find somebody that would be willing to do brand photos of me. When you're looking for photographers, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you like their style. Some photographers do actually heavily edit their photos, so if, they, if their editing style doesn't fit your brand style, there's gonna be a mismatch, right? There's gonna be a dissonance. So you wanna find somebody who matches your natural brand style. So if, you, if your brand is like bright and cheery and energetic, then you're gonna want bright and clear, colorful photos. If you have like maybe a moody or romantic or a darker brand, maybe you're looking for somebody who specializes in like fine art, black and white style photography. So whatever it is, make sure that the photographer that you're looking at actually has examples in their portfolio that look like the photos that you would like to have taken. You're also looking for a photographer that fits your budget, right? So <laughs> this is gonna be different for everybody. And I hesitate to even 
throw out any numbers, but I will just because I want to be as transparent as possible because I've seen photographers priced as low as like $50 for somebody who's just getting started and just learning up to several thousand dollars or even like $10,000 for a highly specialized, highly trained, sought after photographer. I have tended to be on the lower end of the spectrum. So I've generally found photographers between the 500 and $1,000 range for a couple hour shoot where I get the files. So I'm always looking for a photographer that's willing to provide the digital files and not just one or two of them. I actually want like nearly all of them. Most, I mean, all photographers won't give you like every single frame that they shoot, but I want the entire shoot that they deliver so that I can use a variety of images over my social media, Instagram, Facebook, etc. I don't want just one or two for my website. I want like this full portfolio of images. So I make sure that the photographer that I book is cool with that, that they're willing to offer that to me. So once you've gathered your inspiration on Pinterest, you have secured a photographer, gotten on their schedule, paid the deposit, being a good client, the next step is to actually bring the shoot to life. So there's more than just showing up. Uh, in this third step, you want to like actually pick the location that you're gonna shoot at. Are you gonna shoot in your own home office? Or maybe just like in your living room, like around your house and other places. Or maybe there's like an office or a public building that you can get a permit to shoot in that would really fit your brand style. Or maybe it's outdoors. Maybe it fits your brand to be out in the wilderness or just walking down the street or at a cafe. Whatever actually fits your brand and hopefully you have some ideas from that inspiration board that you curated on Pinterest already. Pick the place that you're gonna shoot at. And then similarly, you need to actually start securing the things that are going to be in the photos with you. Whether that's a sweet cape blazer from Zara or your other outfit pieces or maybe you're gonna hire a makeup artist or a hairstylist. Maybe it's just me, but I have never had good luck with a makeup artist. I end up not looking like myself. I, just, I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I don't book uh, that for photo shoots because I want to look like me in my photos. I want to have that that difference between seeing me online and seeing me in person. Plus, I tend to show up for my Facebook Lives like right after the gym with zero makeup on. <laughs> so we're, again, we're, we're trying to create this consistent, relatively consistent brand experience, right? Um, but yeah, you, you have to gather your laptop, your props, whatever you're gonna have actually in the photos with you, including your outfit, and then consider like hair, makeup, shoes, all of the details that are gonna show up in your photos. Next thing you're going to want to do is to communicate your needs as an online entrepreneur to the photographer because it's different than just like a family portrait or a wedding album. You need very different deliverables and actually a different image style as well. So depending on which platform you are shooting the images for is going to dictate what type of images you need. I tend to use a lot of my images for YouTube thumbnails, for Facebook posts, and then just for the Instagram feed photos, so the square. So I'm actually looking for a lot of horizontal images. And depending on who it is, especially portrait photographers, they tend to shoot a lot of portrait style, vertical photos. So you have to literally communicate this to your photographer, especially if you need photos for like website banners. Uh, that you may need some horizontal images or lots of horizontal images and you may even want some photos that have white space on them meaning like a wall it doesn't literally have to be white but some blank space where you can overlay text without it covering up your eyeballs so this is different than like I said a portrait so they might have to have a much looser frame, like they won't be as zoomed up on your face, but you'll be able to use those images in so many more places if you have some horizontal images and images that have white space. All right, so at step five, all of the prep work is done except for one very crucial thing and that is priming yourself to show up at your best on the day of the actual shoot. Now your mileage may vary 
completely depends on your digestion system. <laughs> but I am very sensitive to different foods and I really don't wanna show up looking like I'm five months pregnant at my brand photo shoot. So I tend to shoot or book my photo shoots uh, around lunchtime or so. That way I'm not rushed in the morning. I can have a full like morning routine, but I'm also not scrambling to eat a bunch of food before the shoot. I might eat something super light, like some fruit or you know, whatever works for your system. Eat something and drink something that's going to give you extra energy, keep you peppy, get tons of sleep the night before so you don't have under eye bags or anything that you don't want showing up and give yourself a little grace because there's bound to be a pimple that pops up on the day of your shoot. Hopefully, you know, you can cover it up or if you communicate with the photographer, maybe they can touch it out or be aware of something that is going on with your physical appearance that's not normal for you. Till next time, I will see you soon. Have an awesome day.